Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. What does your company do? Have you ever Googled yourself? Totally. What makes a great entrepreneur? What's your next big idea? Tweeting's like my favorite. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. Wouldn't it be cool if you could personalize your news and information service? With SkyGrid's app, you can do just that. So cool and so much easier. Let's talk business. SkyGrid is a custom news app on iPhone, iPad, and Android. Kevin Complin is the founder and CEO of SkyGrid. Come on in! Boo! <laughs> well, you, you, didn't, you didn't even flinch. Uh, I, I figured I knew, <laughs> I kind of sensed you here. Oh, man. Well, I thought I'd scare you, but it didn't work. I'm going to have to try to scare you some other way this, this episode. So how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. good. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. We're so excited to have you here. Don't tell me a little me. bit about um, you know, what SkyGrid does. Like, what, tell me about your app. So what we do is we keep you up to date on your favorite interests. So for all the Valley Girl fans, they'll be able to go into SkyGrid hopefully soon and be able to follow Valley Girl and get updates on that. Yay! Um, they can also, if they're sports fans, they can follow. But seriously, follow. you can go follow Val Valley Girl on SkyGrid. So let's see this new super cool app. This is the first launch screen. So you okay. have an animated picture frame. So this it. shows you. Uh, I love that. So yeah, these are the reviews of 50-50. So you have big pictures of the biggest news going on in the world. Okay. And then if you want to see something specifically, you just tap in and you have the beautiful photo grid. So here you have a grid of photos showing you all the biggest news in the world. So if I want to see something more on what's happening with Kobe Bryant, I simply tap that. And then I get a grid of photos showing all the different stories from, from all over the place. Then also one of the more popular things is following. So here you can follow all the different topics you're interested in. So someone put in me to follow me for fun, which you know not everyone probably wants to follow me, but you can follow me. I want to follow you. Like. Yeah, so that, that's probably <laughs> one of the more interesting things. And then you've got sections too, just like a normal uh, place you look at news where you can look at science and tech or entertainment or politics or whatever you want. Wow, that's awesome. So this is looking really good. I just love how simple and clear it is. Even on Google search sometimes I feel like, oh God, I don't want to read every single one of these things. I just want to, you know, find the right article, you know, and this is a very simple layout. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Well, so tell me a little bit about this experience of starting SkyGrid. When I first started SkyGrid, what I was thinking about is that when you would look for things on the web, you couldn't find information that was, was basically up to date, and you couldn't get updates on that information. You had to go back every day and look for it again. So I thought instead of you having to go and search something every single day, I thought there was a need for tons of people to stay up to date on their exact interests, and I thought you couldn't do that. So on Facebook, you were able to follow your friends, and they followed you back. On Twitter, you could follow people, and then on SkyGrid, you could follow interests. Tell me about Peter Pan. So Peter Pan uh, is the team dog. On the profile page on our team, he also has his own picture, so there's more information <laughs> about him there. But yeah, everybody loves Peter at SkyGrid, which is, uh, which is nice. So whose dog is he? He's the, our VP of Operations and Culture. It's, it's her dog. Awesome. So he's just always around. So you have a very fun culture, it sounds like. Yeah, he's, 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 um, he's been there since the beginning, and our team's very open, and people have fun. And um, I mean, we're, we're serious about getting things done, but I think it's a good balance. You guys have a little botany fun at work. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, had, we had more plants before, um, before the green thing started, so we've always been into plants. Well, I have a question for you, which is, do you know what plant this is? I actually do, yeah. What is it? It looks like a Venus flytrap. Oh my god, I can't believe you knew that. No. Well, you better put it in its little, you know, white picket fence. Now we're safe. Now we're safe. Do you know much about Venus flytraps? I know they're carnivorous, which is unusual for a plant. But see, I don't get it. If they're carnivorous, they should eat meat. But they eat flies. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why they would eat flies and, and not meat. Maybe we should call it an insectarian. As long as we keep it in the white picket fence, then, then everything's OK. <laughs> so OK, I have an activity for you. Great. Are you ready? Yeah. It's called the Fabulous Cup. Fab Cup. It's fabulous. Ready, set, go. Botany, plants. API, uh, an API. I know that's circular. Uh, HTML web page stuff. 
Uh, news, something people stay up to date. These were upside down, so I'm okay. them around. Uh, porcupine, spiky animal. Entrepreneur, someone trying to build something important. Red Delicious, uh, red vine flavor. Sparkles, Valley Girl Show. Valley Girl Show, sparkles. <laughs> Smoothie, a uh, fruit drink. That was awesome, you are so great. You are a very young entrepreneur. What have you learned over this experience that you would, you know, that you feel you could share with other, you know, people who want to start a company? I think you want to surround yourself with people who have done the things you're trying to do. So since I started Skyward Young and I'm still pretty much young, um, <laughs> I, I really tried to find a lot of people who had accomplished the things I was trying to do. So we surrounded ourselves with people who were really passionate, um, really liked building big, meaningful things, and had been successful before. Now, do you do the engineering? I'm now involved in, in partnerships and in our platform growth. Um, OK. But I built the initial architecture algorithms and code base. So I used to. Wow. Um, so I've, I've done stuff in engineering. So what's the code? Uh, you mean what's it written in? Yeah, what do you, like, or just tell us the whole code. Can you, can you recite the whole code? We should just get some whiteboards, and then we can just, <laughs> we can all get a bunch of coffee in for 48 hours, start to. Wait, we totally can get whiteboards. So these are pink boards. These are pink whiteboards. whiteboards, yeah. So here, I just was curious. I'm going to write a code, and I'm wondering if you can tell me what the front end's going to look like. OK. So the back end is like, like the letters and numbers and code stuff. Right? And then the front end is the pretty stuff. The front end, the code for the front end is the pretty stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, the code. So there's a code for so the back end? So there's code for the back end and the front end, yeah. Is it a code? Is it like your birthday? It's letters and numbers and, and okay. punctuation. I'm going to write a code, and can you tell me what it is, what's going to happen if I enter this into the computer? Yes. OK. I think the computer would be happy. <laughs> Me too. OK, so can you write a code that looks like a, like a Java code? Um, can you tell us what something means? Yeah, we could, we could write something okay. um, r related to that. I'm using part of what you did to, to good, build on Good, good. I'm excited. So this is a conditional statement. OK. So it says, if. <laughs> A person is on the Valley Girl. They, they, what you return, they become very happy. Else, they just stay normal. I love it. So, could you enter that into the computer? Yeah, you probably you'd have to get rid of the pictures and add a, a few more things. <laughs> um. I think that we should have a quick little competition before we wrap up here. Are you are you game? Is the is the plant playing? The plant could enter, but I don't know how well it would do because it's a carnivore. OK, well, we'll, we'll play either way, and then we could decide. <laughs> so this is called stacking apples. There are no rules in this game besides you have to stack as many apples as you can. OK. So you win if you stack the most apples. Here we go. Okay. Ready, set, go. Stack those apples. I feel like this should be a, a theme song or something. Apples. Oh, no, it should be Johnny Appleseed. Isn't that a song? Johnny Appleseed. I think there may be a cartoon from a while ago with it. Oh, no. Pass three is looking. Shoot. Mine have knocked over. This. Yours hasn't even knocked over like one time. But I wanted to get the fourth stable, so. Um, but this, the, four, the fourth one's kind of, no. This is, like, all mine are very crooked. I think mash them's good. I mean, that's... I think you creamed me. You got the highest apple stacking I, I only got four. I wanted to get five. You got five. four. I got three and, like, a half, maybe. I have a trick for investors' meetings that I wanted to teach you. Well, I think that you might try this. It would work. Is it the Apple game? No. I think you should try bringing these. Lightsabers. No. 
bubbles. Bubbles. Nothing can go wrong when you pull out the bubbles. It's like it mesmerizes your investors. They're like, bubbles. I, sure, I don't know you if can I, have money. I'll fund you. I'm not sure if I've used this one before. I highly recommend it. Don't you think it would work? They wash the apples too, so. Yeah. <laughs> and it has this nice loophole for your belt. You don't even have to put it in your bag. You can just stick it on. I like that you thought they were light lightsabers. We yeah, need they're... to get those on the show. <laughs> well, that was fun blowing bubbles with you. Kevin, you have been a fantastic guest. I'm like the Valley Girl. I'm like Kevin Pomplin of Skygrid. And now it's time for your dits moment. It could also be an art design. These are pretty good.